Numbers. Today is uh, June 8th. This is a Tuesday, 2021. Uh, it's going to be a great day in the stock market, even though it's all red right now. There are always going to be opportunities. Uh, I am not giving anyone financial advice. There's a guy on the internet who trades stocks and uh like to show my progress and then help myself by backtracking what I did, right or wrong, and build on that. So do not follow what I do. I'm not a financial advisor. Just a guy who trades stocks. So here's my current watch list. Um, right now, I'm looking at trading maybe Clough or SONM, which is two of, two of my top lists I have today. They're over here on my sheet. Uh, Clough is right here. It's currently bullish right now into the market opening so club is on the bullish candle uh, as you can see we have 50 seconds left see that bull candle right there it's moving towards the top uh next next do club have news hold on club does have news right there uh, over here we have PDSB is retracing. Uh, AYTU is moving backwards, and then next NEXT uh, has a little news. Have adjusted price target of nine bucks, so that usually moves the stock. Let me go over here to my chart. I think I have like six hundred bucks available to trade today. So I'm gonna look at Clough right quick. I'm gonna put in a. Uh, Let me see something. I don't know. Uh, I missed my buy in. I missed the buy in. I was talking too much. I put it in the group though. I can't even count that fast. I'm so thrown off, y'all. Hold on. There go the bull move right there. Yep, it's going to run up to probably 18 bucks pretty soon. I should miss my uh my buy-in target. My bad, y'all. Let me go change my my drawing tool. Like use my dollar sign. S O N M is too cheap for me to buy it. That's a low float though. I'll probably get three hundred shares or four hundred shares, and then pop in and pop out of it. Let's see. You know by now, I hate trading stocks this cheap. They dangerous. But it might make a move right here. If it goes up, I give it, if I get 400 shares and it goes up two cents, you know, that's a quick uh, look at that move right there. I can't do it. I just hate cheap stocks. But I'm going to go over here. I hate cheap stocks. I can't do it. So I'm not going to even mess around with it. But it's going to make a move to probably 80 cents. I just hate cheap stocks. I could have hopped in back here at 72 for running 76, 78. I just can't do it, man. The high of day right here, though. Man, it's tempting, though. It's so freaking tempting. Uh, What else? Is, look at Clough. And there it is. I said 18 bucks. There it go. You know what I didn't do yet? Trading my large account. I forgot about my large account. God dang it. Let me log in my large account while I find me a buy. Uh, let me see. We had going right here. I'm not going to chase it. Watch for this pullback right here. You all these buyers coming in, sellers on the side. Let me watch it right quick for that pullback. Pullback, pullback. Let me go to one minute chart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to allow five minutes because I missed my buy-in point on uh, a couple stocks right, look like right now. I'll watch for the for the, for the the five-minute chart to pull back. And there you go. You see him drop before I clicked over? See that pull back? That's a too large for float. That float is too large for me. I'm not going to trade that. That's a 122 million share float. Let me get rid of Sun M. I'm not gonna trade it. It's too expensive. I mean too cheap. Uh 12 million share float right here. 
on GBS. What GBS doing? I don't have much volume though, so I'm not gonna mess with that one. My buy is next on this pullback. Let's see what it's doing right here. Let me go to one minute chart. The float is too large though. I don't like that float. Let me go GBS. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna buy it. It's just that that simple. It's no float, no trade. Let me go to CYCN. CYCN had a quick spike. Look at this. I can buy in actually right here for a spike. See this pass. Watch this. And when it spiked 380, I'm hop out of it. This is how you find spikes. You look you look through the charts. You can see quick spikes right quick. Look down here. It was a quick sharp uh, bull candle on the RSI. And it was a real sharp green candle right here. See? And we have 34 million shares. And we have right now 1.39 million shares being traded. So I'm going to do a quick scalp right here. Watch this move right quick. My gold is 385, 3, 390. I'm not going to go over here right now. It has news at 917. Let me make it a little smaller. Let me see the big picture. That's the first five minute candle. See that high? A 415. Let me draw this candle right quick. Come on, why am I drawing? It's right there. 415. There we go. I'm going to go over here right quick. And uh, watch this uh, move on CYCN. See what it do. So let me go back to my five minute chart. Watch this move. We need a greeny green. It's pulling back, but it's barely pulling back. This right here is the EMA 368. It's barely banging that. If you know by now, it must retrace the EMA or the BWAP. It's going to cross it and then come back to it every time. So we need to make this EMA right here support around there possibly a new high of day. Let's watch it for a minute right here. 34 million shares trading 1.5 million the current moment. Let's see what happens. They go to pull back. Let me go to my charts. And then type in the CYCN right here. I don't like watching it. So my line is already drawn. You see it. Let's watch for the move. Uh, meanwhile, next, let's make it a high of day. Hold on one second. NEXT, NEXT. See, next made a good move, but that float to me is way too large. 122 million shares being traded. That's why I didn't mess with it. I don't like stocks that big of a float. But if it has a bullish candle or a big move, I will buy it every now and again. But for me personally, my personal opinion, the float is too large for me to purchase it. In a small account. Let me phrase that. But large account doesn't matter. Uh, let's see what we at. Here comes this move on CLOV for recovery. Might have to hop in that. all about let's see I'm still watching the top right my CYC in position uh let's see if uh any XT wants to hold on volatility
watching. I'm watching. For some reason, CYCN acts like it doesn't want to move no more, which is unusual because <clears throat> the move it made should have been a bull move to the top side and should touch the high of day. However, it failed, which is unusual. Let's wait for a minute, top right, and see what happens on that CYCN. And I am still in it, of course, you know, on my small account. But I don't like watching my money move up and down. It makes me nervous. So instead, I'll watch it from the charts. I know it's going to make this move to the high of day, well, to the previous high. Once it pops that, we got a high of day, which is right here at 415, which is early this morning at 4 o'clock this morning. So just watching for the move. Go back over to my charts. 34 million share float. Check. It has a lower float than these top two, which have nearly 200, well, 150 million shares. It's a lot of share float. It takes a lot of volume to move it. Here come lots. L-O-T-Z. Let me go in the group right quick. I see that move right there. It's very important to have a a freaking uh watch list created uh because that move is going to make sure you get your money see a lot up here in watch list it's right there and i'm telling you watch the move on lots and look at that move it bought the hold on volatility bottom right it's lots I'm holding the stock too long right now. CYCN, I should have been out of it by now. I don't like holding stocks this long. But it didn't move the way it's supposed to, so I'm going to hold it for a minute. Because what it's going to make this move in this EMA. And when that pops up, I'm going to hop out of it. Right when I bought it, it decided it wanted to fail. We got on lots. CYCN, what are you doing over here? What are you doing on CYCN now? Oh, I'm trying to watch right quick on my cell phone. I got my hands kind of full. Remain calm. Trust the process. If you know you did the research the right way, everything's going to pan out, right? So don't get discouraged. Don't get flustered. Don't sell too soon because you're scared. So on and so forth. Look at this next right here. This pop 520. If you look over here, I put it up here? I didn't. I was talking about it. I didn't do it. My bad. I forgot to put it up there. However, look up top. It's right there in the watch list. So if you look at the watch list, you will see it. <clears throat> but it's up there. I put down what I'm saying in the group. If you got the watch list in your in your on your sheet, you'll see that I put it up there. You'll see it moving yourself. I'm looking for this move here on CYCN. Need to pick up some more volume. If you get about five million shares traded, it's gonna make a nice little move on on the CYCN. I need it. It's N E X T, not N E S T. I'm still holding C Y C N, a small account. You see, I haven't sold it yet. It's on the page. I'm waiting for this move it's about to make. It's a matter of time. I should have waited the five minutes, like I said I was going to do, for the candle to complete itself, and then found a buy in point rather than rush what I did.
It happens sometimes. But the catch is, if you make an error, catch that error, right? Which is why the videos exist. If I make an error, I can look back at it like, man, you know what? I should have waited a couple more minutes more to get a different price and made more profits. Instead, I rushed it because I got FOMO or whatever it may be, and I missed my, my great buying opportunity. But it's all good. Not concerned. <clears throat> hey, EVA. I'm typing. I'm watching my, my stock. I'm on my cell phone. I got everything going right now. TTOO. Making errors. Can't make those errors. All right. And here we are. Looking next. Still running. It has a $9 price target I said earlier, right? Yeah. That nine dollar price target gonna make your surge. It might hit seven when it's all said and done. Just because they said we have a nine dollar price target. Some bull crap news, right? But they do that to pump it up. I guarantee you a few months ago, it was crap. Even halting the volatility, I'm pretty sure. See it's not moving? <clears throat> Let's go to my hearts. Next, halting on volatility, 943.13. Which meaning it comes out of heart at 948. <clears throat> Be watching it live, you'll know that. You'll see it. <clears throat> What's this right here? CYRN. That my stock? No, I guess CYCN. I'm right here. I don't trade trades cheap stocks. I put it in the watch list, but I don't trade them. Look at GameStop. My goodness. I'm about to buy some GameStop. I'm about to get some GameStop in my large account. <clears throat> I'm gonna put GameStop right here next to lots. You can see uh, see this move. Look at that. These pump and dump stocks can be made a lot of money. These Game Stops, these AMCs, these Blackberries, man, they pumping the mess out of these daggone stocks. And you can make a lot of money off it for they pumping them. Just be the smart person and get your profits on them, and then hop out of it. Don't hold too long. If you hold too long, it's gonna burn you every time. Take it from me. It burned many times on pumps. <coughs> they gonna allergies killing me. All right, so in my large account, I've traded Next already, and I'm up, and I've traded uh, Club already, and I'm up. Oh, I got to also got AMC in my large account, and I'm up. I just hopped in Game Stop at at uh, three dollars. Sorry, three dollars, three hundred and nine dollars and eighty five cents. So I'm running up to probably three sixteen, three seventeen. It's gonna pop high of day for sure. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go over here and say it. I'm getting out of I mean club as well. I'm getting out of club at uh 18. I got myself order in, I think. Yeah. Uh I'm in this trade way too long. It's moving slow motion. I hopped in it and it slowed down on me, which is crazy. I didn't want to trade these because the volume's too I mean the float was too high. But sometimes you got to hop in those and hop out of them. I didn't want to do that. Instead, I chose the one with lower float, uh, with volumes picking up, and it had a big gap to fill. I haven't filled that gap yet. I'm down like eight cents right now, which is not bad, but I need to be up 80 or a dollar. That'd be clutch. We're moving slowly but surely. Two million share of float, slowly but surely. My sale point is 18 bucks over here. Let's see if we hit it yet. I think we made it. Oh, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, it sold. Lots. Am I in lots? Where's my lots sale point at? I'm in lots as well. So I'm out of this. I'm going to hop out of clove. Hop in lots and find a sale point. My sale point on lots. I'm in lots at 648. So. 
My sell point is going to be new high of day. I'm going to pop in that 270. Yeah. I'm going to go 271. 65. I'm not being greedy, but I know it has room to move to 670. Let me make it smaller so you can see it, the bigger picture. Six seventy around the corner. Six sixty eight, six nine, seventy. There we go. Six seventy. That's okay, seventy one, right? So I was one cent off. Let's see if we can blow through this one cent that I need. Six nine. I'm gonna get that one cent. Get my day going one cent now. Nine, they go nine, seven, seventy one, one cent. There we go. Take about one cent. So I'm out of it. I'm out of lots at uh six seventy one. So I've traded lots. I traded GameStop. I'm out GameStop at three seventeen. It popped three twenty one. Look at that. So I'm out of game I sold GameStop, Club, uh AMC, Lots, and Next. So I'm actually done in my large account. I'm I'm doing pretty well over here in my large account. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure. Wait, I got IGC. When did I buy IGC? Must have been a mistake. Uh, I'm down I IGC like 200 bucks. What the heck was that all about, Joe? When did I buy IGC? That's terrible. All good. Life happens, right? Let me get out of IGC. I didn't mean to buy that. Be careful. Don't fat finger stuff, right? Like I just did on my daggone cell phone. I fat finger IGC and I daggone end up buying it by mistake. It's all good. I think I lost like a hundred bucks. Let me make sure. I lost 400 bucks trading IGC by mistake. That's terrible. And look at GameStop still going. You know what I haven't traded yet? My other favorite, Coinbase. So in the group, fellas, you're going to see my uh, trades I made today in my large account. My small account, the video is still going, as you know, and I'm holding the stock right now about 20 minutes. For me, that is way too long to be holding a day trade. However, I made the error of not following my guts and hopping on next like I should have. Instead, I looked for a small float and I hopped on CYCN. Trust the process, right? Don't second guess yourself, which I did this morning. But I noticed, look at this right here. The whole morning CYCN been riding below the EMA. So I know for a fact it must make support. And I saw this happening earlier, which is why I ended up buying it when I bought it. Because it was about to cross over the, the uh, EMA, which it did, but didn't make it support. It fell back through it. I know for a fact it's going to end up popping this and making it support. So I mean, end up holding it longer than I want to hold it, but... I trust the process. So I'm going to just hold it for a little while longer. I'm done trading in my large account, so I can focus now over here and uh, watch for my uh, my sales to occur. I'm posting right now in the group my trades in my large account. I lost 400 bucks on IGC. Uh, again, I don't know why, how, how I bought that, when I bought that, but some kind of way I bought IGC. Total mistake. However, I lost 400 bucks, And there it is now in the group. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now in the group as well is I'm currently making a video. A video. And I'm stuck on CYCN. CYCN. Because I second guess myself. I'm putting all that in the text right now. I'm going to put in after that, trust the process. So everything I'm telling you, I'm doing. I don't like what it's doing. Let me hop out of it. This is terrible. Let me take my L. I'll take my loss right here. Let's see. See, the bottom is right there. That's the, 
354 is the low point. This is the tip of the peak. If it pops 354, I'll take my little $25 loss, whatever it's going to be, and I'll call it a, I'll call it a day. I don't like losing, but it happens sometimes. What I would do usually is right now, I'll put it in trailing stop or stop loss, and I'll be on to the next. But because I'm on video, all my account information being leaked, as you know by now, so I'm going to uh, trade like I would trade without being on video. Well, let me phrase that. I'm going to trade different. It pops my low point, I'm going to hop out of it. But it shouldn't do that. It should be moving upwards. Everything is pointing to the to the right side. Look over here in the level two. All these buyers right here waiting, right? They said a stop loss. They got when they got to the top up here somewhere, they shorted it. I guarantee it. And here's a stop losses to buy back out their position to get their profits. They shorten it. I'm gonna hover right here for a second, right below the sale market, and get ready to hop out. The volume is slowly but surely increasing. Very slow. But, uh, yeah, if you lose sometimes, you win sometimes, right? GameStop's still going. I'm going to hold off here a minute. I'm not going to trade screens. If I lose, I lose. Six minutes to, th to uh, 10 o'clock. The video ends 10 o'clock anyway, so I'm not trying to cut anybody short. Hopefully, by then, they pop my point. I hop out of it. Remember, cut losses 10%, right? This thing totally faked me out. Totally faked me out. Got buyers coming in. Keep it on level two. Look on, right, look on the right side, though. Look at all your sellers over here. Got some way up here at 440-ish, right? They bought it way back here somewhere early this morning. So I'm watching. We got buyers down here, which really what they are is short sellers getting their profits. So understand the market. There's no reason why anybody buying way down here. It's impossible, right? Because they, they short sellers. You're not putting it down 30 or 40 cent lower than the current price. You're not doing that. Because look, on yesterday, it was right here, 330-ish. This is right here, 615, or 415 last night. It was 330-ish. Here we are. Guys from last night who short sold it. That's their break-even point. Understand the market. Let me go to the 15-minute chart. Let me go to the 5-minute chart. Watch this big buyer come in. Is that green candle on that 5-minute chart? Me big buyers popping in, blowing through this point, and hopping out at my line I drew. Here come the buyers. Trust the process, right? Follow your gut. Don't second guess yourself. I say again this morning, I should have bought next, but the float was way too large for me, so I didn't buy it. Even though I seen it moving, remember, the top four or five stocks, everybody going to trade. Top four, next, Clough, AHL, GBS. Is this, this is the way it is. I didn't buy it. If that float too large, I don't want the parts of it. Well, I should have hopped into it, got into that halt, and hopped out of it, but I didn't. Here we go. We got four minutes still before 10 o'clock, and I'm in the video. But by then, I'll be broke even. Or we'll pop my point. Where the buyer's at. This time, look at level two. You'll see the buyers. I'm going to leave it like that and just watch. We need to make this line support the EMA. We need a burgundy, right? And we need a real sharp RSI move upwards, right? Those those two things there will blow it past that 380 mark. Then we'll be touching, getting close to a new high of day. I remember for this morning, people were trading the stock at, at 330 or 340, and they ran up to four something. Then they shorted it, which is why you sell orders over here or buy orders over here. I'm going to hold off this level two and look at it like this. So it's a very strong uh, bull candle. Let's see the, the movement on that. This candle is 1.7% or six cents.
Come on, where the bars at? We're still moving little by little. That has forty. That has four hundred eight million share float, but it's a large price stock. It's seventeen dollars. So when float this large, a stock that costs too much money, it's normal. But one this small, that big of float, that's not normal at all. And here's one here below it, A E H L. Let me get off this for a minute. Oh, I totally missed that one, didn't I? I put in the group. I'm not trading right now on my large account. I'm done for the day. I'm focused so much on my uh, current trade that I didn't look at that. I only have it up here, do I? Nope. My CYC in that. I may even trade it. I like what that movie made. I'm still looking at my phone, and I may trade AEHL. I haven't lost in my small account in quite a while. If I lose, I'm going to be upset about it. But it's an eye-opener. Let me know. Trust my instinct, right? Let me go over to here. Might hop in AHL. Uh, CYC and keep it right there. AEHL, I'll put it right here. I'm in at four, uh, 401. I want to run at 419. Let's see what happens. I'm going to draw my line, my sell point right there. Meanwhile, I'm looking over here. Here come the green bar, right? About to make this EMA support. At 370, I'm going to pop back over to that trade screen. Oh, look at that pullback of AEHL. That's crazy. I'm going to put in my trading stop. I might hop out even. Let's see what happens right here. It gets bigger. See how I keep banging at EMA? It must make a support. Let's see. Look at GameStop, 340. Golly. Let me go over here. This guy keep popping up on notifications, man. I called new high of day, right? And then it hit 340. There we go. There we go. Trust the process. Come on now. Make the EMA support. Here come the buyers. We need one big spike, and I hop out of it with a with a gain. Let's go. I'm hovering over to 140. I have 140 there. 140 there. 371 buy-in point. It's auto ten is checked. All all is pointing green. It's a new candle too. It's a new five minute candle. We have three minutes left in this candle. Let me go back over to my charts. It must make support. GameStop. Red to green move. See that? Look for red to green move. I'm patient. Maybe I'm holding stock, but I'm 30 minutes now. I'm in the video. I know what time it was. It's 10.02. I'll give you my final, final stats in a minute. Remember, I bought in at 371, right? 140 shares. So my buying point is actually right here. Not far off where I'm at. So with that being said, uh, stay green. I'll post my final number in a minute. But I'm sure it's going to be green. Uh, one trade away.